started with sending an invitation out to the 92 neighborhoods that are part of Nextdoor. We also did some other media push to get it out there if there were folks that aren't plugged into Nextdoor. So we wanted all neighborhoods represented. We wanted to make sure that we didn't overlook any really good ideas on how we prioritize the demolition activity. At its core, that's what the conversation, the question was today. But for the most part, we want them to determine what's the most important thing that they should be talking about. So that's, how, that's the format going forward. The big concern was uh, just improving the neighborhood safety, cutting down on crime, uh, crime in your neighborhood uh, by vacant houses, property that needs to be upgraded. I've uh, been very involved in this. I, I do volunteer on the neighborhood task force meeting that came out of the city summit. Uh, two, three years ago, so I've been very involved in trying to get betterment for our city. Uh, the thing I took most note of is there are lots of new faces here today. It's not the uh, same old neighborhood crowd, and it's, uh, it's going to be a challenge for the city to get these folks educated about how processes work and how to apply for empowerment grants, how to involve themselves in this sort process, because they really don't know yet. And communication has really improved within the city. Um, it's just getting to all areas. Not everybody has the internet, not everybody is uh, connected to next door. Just open up communication levels between the neighborhoods, between all of our resources, that we can get that information out there. I've been very encouraged over the last year or so that the city uh, is asking for the, the thought and the opinions of the neighborhoods. I think that all by itself is a huge step forward, and I think this meeting represents a continuation of that.